Okay, in this video we're going to create a very simple JavaScript image slideshow. Uh, this is going to be the one where you would actually click on next or previous. Uh, if you want to do probably near the end, I'll I'll add the the script to where it can run all by itself. Um, but for now we'll just do the one where you have to click next. So I'm going to do this under slideshow.php. Again, you can call this slideshow. Uh, HTML. What is this? Okay, not exactly sure what that was. All right, so let's get started. Uh, so let's get some of our tags in here. Okay. So inside the body, what we're going to do is well, let's write our image source. Okay, so I have I have some images set up already. Um, so I have let me let me show you. Okay, so these are the three images that I'll be working with. Okay, so I have chalkboard, Sam, and Ven. Okay. Alright, so what we're going to do is you have to start off with an initial uh, photo. So I'll just do sam.png. And then I will name it, because we'll need a name, uh, slideshow. Okay, and then underneath is where I'll have the previous and next uh, buttons or links. Okay, so I'll have. Let's see, I'll align this one left. Okay, now I've seen this done a couple different ways. Uh, so I'll actually do it both ways. I'm sure both of them have their problems, but for now I'll just do it this way. Okay, since we're going to have this script run on, on an on click, I'm going to return. The function that I'm going to call is called change image. And then I'm going to put a negative one in for the parameter. So let's see, previous. Okay, so what's going to happen here is the user will click on the link. It's going to run the, the function change image. The negative one is going to send the, because um, all the photos are stored in an array, so it's going to go back. Uh, one spot in the array when you click on previous and right now here I have no link put here I mean we can you can say JavaScript dot HTML because what's going to happen is n this won't run at all okay unless you see I wonder if you if you actually press enter on the link instead of clicking the link it might run I'm not I'm not actually sure but what's going to happen is when you click on the link, it's going to run this and it's going to ignore the JavaScript.html. Another way of doing it is where you would have the link, you would actually write JavaScript and then change image. Now this is the one that's going to go forward, so I'll put a plus one. Just put next. All right, so when you try clicking on it, it's going to run the JavaScript. Um, so both ways work, at least when I when I test this, it works. I'm sure they both have their problems, but both will work uh, majority of the time. All right, so let's end. We ended the table. Okay, that's it. Now down here, I may get to it later. I'm going to put a, a div for description. Now this is only going to work. Um, if you associate or create another array where the array contains uh, a description of the, the photo. So I'll, I'll leave that down here. Okay, so I think that's it for the HTML. All right, so I'm going to actually write the JavaScript in in the uh, PHP file. So let's, let's go ahead and do that. So I'll do that up here. All right, so script type oh, 
Oops. Okay. All right, so the first thing I want is the variable image. So this is going to be an array. And then in these parentheses, we're going to store the, the images. So I have sam.png. I had chalkboard.png. And then I had, what's the last one? Oh, Venn. And this is a, a JPEG. Okay, so in this array, you would store all the photos that you want to have in your slideshow. And then we're going to initialize our image number. So it's going to start at 0. And then an image length. So this is the length of the array. So image.length minus 1. The reason we have the minus 1 is the length's going to say 3. Okay. But when you're talking about an array, the arrays always start at 0. So this would be 0, 1, 2. So when you do image 2, it's actually the third element. So that's why we subtract the 1. All right. So let's create the function now. So function change image. And then I'll number because we're sending in, remember the, where is it? Down here, we're either sending in a negative one or a positive one. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to say image number equals image number plus the number. So if you set, uh, press uh, next, this is a positive one. So it's going to take the location that you're currently at. So like say it's location one. It's going to add one to it, so it's going to get you location two. So then you're at the, in this case, the Venn dot JPEG. All right, so now the problem here is, is if you're at, if you're currently at the Venn diagram one, and then you go on to the next, this is going to go from two to three. Well, the problem is, is we don't actually have a third location in the array. Okay, so again, it goes 0, 1, 2. So there's nothing there for 3. So what, what I want to say is if the image number is greater than the image length, okay, meaning you have you were at the end of the array already, so when you go next, what I want to do is I want to send it back to the beginning again. So if your image number is bigger than the image length, then all I want to do is say the image number, send it back to zero. And then same thing, if you were at the the first picture, I'm sorry, if you were if you're at the first picture and you press previous, it's going to go to negative one. Alright, but I want to send that back up to the uh, well send it to the back of the array. So in this case if the image number is less than zero what I want to do is set the image number equal to image length. Okay. So again, what this does is it sends. Hmm, actually, I, I well, I I hope it's I hope that makes sense. I don't know if I need to write any comments in there. All right, so what next? All right, so we've done that. Okay, then what we're going to do is we need a way to access the image. So you do uh, document, slideshow, so that's the image name, source, so access the source on that image. And we're going to set that equal to image, and then the location, which which part of the array we're at. And then we're going to return false. OK, so I th is that it? All right, so let's go give it a shot here. Um, I need to open up browser here. OK.
Okay, so slideshow PHP. Okay, so we have the photo. This is the first photo. And if we click next, oh, you know what? Let's go back to, I have these stored in an image folder. So image, image, Okay, because notice down here, I have it for images slash Sam, so I need to add those images up here. All right, so let's try this again. Okay, so refresh. So now if you click Next, it goes to the chalkboard. Click Next, the Venn diagram. We are now at the end of the array. So if you click Next, there you go. It sends it back to the beginning of the array. If you're at the beginning of the array and you press previous, it'll send you back to the end of the array. Okay, so that's a very simple JavaScript image slideshow. Now, if you wanted to do one where it does it automatically, uh, let me change it around a little bit and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so here's what we're going to do about um, setting it on auto. I'm going to go back down to the table where we have previous and next, and then I'm going to throw in one more. And I'm going to call this one, I guess we could just call it auto. All right, so we got to go write the function auto. Let's go back up here. So function auto. All we're going to do is we're going to say set interval and we're going to have it call our function change image and put a positive one so it goes forward in the array. And let's do 3000. And that should be it. So let's go take a look, see if it works. Okay, so let's refresh. So let's see, does it still next, previous? Okay, so all that still works. And then if we click on auto, does it work? Okay. So I'm not pressing next, okay, and it's going through. Um, let's just see if we can speed it up a little bit. I guess set it for 1,000. auto okay so it does work okay so that's the the end of the actual slideshow now what talked about it briefly down here I have this div with um, where the description could be so what you can do is you can go back up to the JavaScript and you can set another array We'll call it description. And you could say something like, this is a dog. This is a chalkboard. This is a Venn diagram. So under where we would actually change the slide, you can then say get element oops document dot get element by ID uh, let's see what did I call it I think I called it description description dot enter HTML equals and then the description image number Okay, so let's see if that works. Okay, let's pull the, there we go. All right, so let's refresh. Okay, and then if we click next, there you go. This is a chalkboard, it's a Venn diagram, this is a dog. All right, so there you go.